Today, I want to show you something really cool that I found that Vex just released, at least right now. For me, it's 2020. We're in the era of coronavirus. And if you've been keeping up with Vex, one of the brand new things they've let out is this Vex VR, it's called. It's essentially a coding platform where instead of coding a physical robot like we usually would with Vex, instead we're going to be coding a virtual one. So it's real simple. I'll throw the link in the description of this video. But all you have to do is Google Vex VR. It'll be the first result that pops up. Head over there and you load it up and it'll look like this. Now, in order to get access to your robot, you got to hit this little playground button up here. Pretty easy. It'll load up and you can select one of a whole bunch of different playgrounds. We got all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, I like the art canvas just because it's simple, at least to get started with. And then once you kind of get the hang of it, you can do some really fancy stuff. You can do like a castle crasher if you want to start some medieval madness going or whatever. Uh, but I just kind of want to show you the art canvas real quick. Basically, the idea is it's designed to be super simple, super quick to use. So, for example, I want to code my robot. I could just grab a drive forward. I want to drive forward 200 millimeters. It's designed to metric. You hit that little play button and it just drives forward. Maybe I want to make that more. I'll go say 600. Hit reset, hit play, and now my robot drives further. Pretty straightforward. And then, I don't know, say I want to turn, and I could do that as well. Probably one of the really cool features, though, that I've noticed is they have this robot pen. So if you look really carefully, you can go into 3D view here. This is the 3D view button. So if you go there, you can kind of check out your robot. You can click and drag, look at your robot from all different angles you'll notice there's actually a colored pen on top. Right now it's black, and you can move that pen down and start drawing pictures using this block right here. It says move robot pen down. So I'll throw that guy at the top of my program, and now if I reset and hit play, you'll notice he draws a line on the board. So, you know, that gave me an idea. I said, all right, you know, I can draw a line. Let's see if we can draw a square. So I'm going to duplicate this guy a few times, and you could use a for loop if you're familiar with those. I'm just going to do it using raw blocks just to kind of show you what it looks like. And suddenly, I've got myself a square, just like so. All right, so now that you get this, you know, you're trying to figure out, all right, well, this is cool, but what else can you do? Probably the simplest cool thing that you can do is you can change your pen. Like I said, you know, it's a multicolored pen. You've got one color right here that's black. You drag this block out here. This is robot pen color, set robot pen color. You can choose red, you can choose green. Uh, I don't know, I'll choose red. I'll hit play. And just like so, we have ourselves a bright red square. All right, so after I started drawing the square, you know, I was like, all right, this is really cool. Uh, but what else can you do? And I think one of the my favorite things to do after this was writing numbers. You know, it's cool to be able to just make a square, but how does that actually relate? Like, why is that useful? And so I thought, what if we could write numbers? So I figured out how to write the number 18. So I hit play here. It's just a whole bunch of blocks of code. I'm going to draw my one, head over here, and I'm going to draw my eight, just like so. And that was cool. But, you know, then I realized, all right, well, I can't really write any number I want. You know, it's kind of tricky. I got to come up with this whole code structure for each individual number. So what I did was I actually developed a tool that allows you to write any number you want. It looks like this. All you do is you put in sequence the numbers that you want to write, and then you hit play and it'll simply write them for you. So for example, I wanted to write one eight here, 18. So I said write one and then write eight. In the event that maybe, for example, you wanna write something a little more complex, you have this more space block here. So you grab that guy and you'll go uh, write one, two, three. Then you hit play. He's gonna, because I added this more space block, kinda of head over here get a little bit more room to write, and then he's going to write the number one, write the number two, and finally write the number three. So this tool, um, although it's really powerful, is actually fairly complex. So if I scroll over to my source code here, this is what kind of sets up these two blocks and makes them work. You can see I got a lot of code here. And so, you know, I thought either I could make a really, really long video and show you how to do that, and that would be complicated and confusing, or I just give it to you. So underneath this video, you'll notice there's a little link that says, you know, click here for the code. You're going to click on that link. It's going to take you to a 
whole form where you can enter your email, email address and I will send you that code right away so you can start playing with it, tinkering with it, test it out, you know, see what different numbers you can write. I mean, I wrote one, two, three. You can write much more interesting numbers than that, I'm sure. So go and play around with it, see how it works. You can even come over here once you have it. It won't change my version of the code, it'll only change yours. And you can always re-download it from the link I send you in the email. So what you can do is you can modify this, change it, see if you can make it better, go faster, all that good stuff. And then if you ever need to revert, you'll have the copy that I sent you. So go ahead and enter your email address below. And I'll send you this code. As always, thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe.